Now, let's have a look at the derivative of a semicircle. So here we have the function of a semicircle. So f of x is equal to the square root 25 minus x squared. Okay, if you need a reminder on why that's the function value or the function of a uh, semicircle, then I suggest you go back and have a look at the functions of uh, or the different types of functions and the circle in particular. Now, this is the upper semicircle with center zero and a radius five. And we know from circle geometry that any point um, on this semicircle, um, the tangent, P is the line perpendicular to the radius, okay? So let's start off by writing down. So the points, so any point, so the point is X. So if I wanted to go from, you know, say here to here, okay? So remembering that uh, we've got X along the uh, X axis and instead of Y, we're going to use the function value because it's whatever um, I put into there. So let's say, you know, this is about three and this is about, you know, like whatever that is, like three and a half or something along those lines. Okay, so um, whatever my x value is, my y value is going to be f of x. Okay, um, and in this case, it's going to be the square root of 25 minus x squared. Now, if I'm picking this point here, and I want to find the derivative. Remembering that the derivative is the tangent. Okay, it's a tangent at that point. So I could basically draw a line like that. And if that was actually touching at that single point, it's not too bad besides it's not touching there. Okay, we have this value here. Okay, now the tangent and the radius, okay, are related because if the radius comes out here like this, the tangent is then related to it by 90 degrees, okay? Or they're perpendicular to each other. Or in other words, the normal of the semi, uh, sorry, the, the normal of the tangent is just the radius, okay? So to work out what the tangent is, what the tangent of that line is, we're going to use, um, we're going to use the gradient of the radius, okay? So the gradient, of the radius, so we'll start off with this bit, okay, is equal to, so it's rise over run. So we've got my rise value here, which is the value of the function. So in this case, I'm just gonna write rise over run so I can scroll down a bit. Okay, so the rise is the value of the function, so f of x, and in this case, that is the square root of 25 minus x squared over the, uh, the run, so how far along the x value it's gone. In this case, it is just x, okay? So that's the gradient and the radius. Now we know that the tangent is the normal, or oh, sorry, the tangent is the, uh, tangent is equal to negative one over the radius, okay? Which is just the normal, as we said. So remember, the normal is the equation that is perpendicular to a number line, another line, so the perpendicular line. Okay, so it's negative one over the radius, or the normal in this case, so, which isn't equal to negative one over the normal. Okay, so remembering that the normal is the uh, line perpendicular. Okay, so whenever I talk about a normal, I'm talking about a line that is perpendicular. So it's negative one over the normal. So in this case, it's negative one over the radius which is the square root of 25 minus x squared over x. Okay, now going back to our um, fractions, 25 minus x squared over x. Okay, so that's my fraction there. I can, well, I can get rid of those two there. Now to divide these fractions, all I'm going to do is I'm going to times it by the reciprocal. So when I do that, I'm going to get minus one, uh, lots of x. So minus one, lots of x. So it's minus x on the 25 minus x squared. And this is the derivative of a semicircle. Okay. 
So that's the derivative of a semicircle. So given a semicircle, the derivative is minus x over the square root of x, 25 minus x squared. Now there's going to be no examples for these ones, okay? But you basically just rewrite it so as this. And we, we don't typically need it um, just for now, but it's good to um, get this idea um, behind us or just to sort of understand it um, before, or see it, I should say, before we... Um, need it too much. Now, we do have the general form of this equation. So in general, so basically for any radius, it doesn't have to be a radius of five. So in general, if we have the function f of x is equal to, uh, so some radius, so r squared minus x squared, okay, then the derivative, so then the derivative of that function is equal to x over the square root of r squared minus x squared, okay? So um, that's the, oh sorry, minus x over r squared minus x squared. So that's the derivative of this function, okay? It's the derivative of the function. And um, that's all we need to talk about uh, on the semicircle for now. Okay, so with that being said, uh, we'll do our last video.